Philip Johnston here to uh, to represent Trackwise, and I'm the, the C CEO of Trackwise. Um, I'd just like to <clears throat> start the presentation by saying um, to those of you, um, those of the shareholders of Trackwise who um, who um, participated in our open offer that we uh, that we announced today, um, thank you very much. And um, if you're not, or you're about to be, or, anyway, we all want, I, I hope to uh, explain a bit about Trackwise. But thank you very much for the support of our our existing shareholders. So Trackwise Designs PLC, <clears throat> we are an established UK manufacturer of specialist products using printed circuit technology. So not really conventional printed circuit boards, but um, a range of products that I will go on to describe that are manufactured using printed circuit technology. Um, our vision is to be the preeminent interconnect partner to the world's leading innovators. Um, we we uh, operate from two divisions, one we're calling advanced PCBs, the other one is our, our, our globally innovative patented technology that we're calling improved harness technology. With these two divisions, we serve a wide range of markets, including electric, electric vehicles, medical, aerospace, defense, and industrial. Um, Trackwise Designs was founded in, in 1989. We now operate with um, roughly 110 staff across the two sites in, in Tewkesbury and Stevenage. So in, in March of this year, actually in April of this year, um, Trackwise acquired Stevenage Circuits. Um, this is even a, a, an older business than Trackwise, um, second generation family business, been going about 50 years. Um, that they make a very wide range of, of advanced printed circuit boards, um, covering, covering um, a, a wide range of, a wide range of, ind of industries um, with a very, large, um, a very large customer base predominantly in the UK, but also into, into Europe. Um, we indicate here on the right of, um, at the right of this slide three, um, three uh, customers that are in, indicative of the, of the type of customer that, we're, that we're, we're addressing through this business. So Iron Science are a UK OEM making products for advanced gas sensors. Um, JMA Wireless is a US antenna manufacturer. Um, the historic business of, of, of Trackwise has been the manufacturer of of, of antennas for mobile phone infrastructure. And the last one, Leonardo, who, we, who um, Stephen Circuits have been manufacturing for over, over many years for multi-year contracts. Um, and we've also got multi-year contracts going through as far as 2024 with them. And so th these are typical, but they're typical of the, of the kind of products that we're, um, that, that we're supplying in, in, from, from our site in Stevenage. Um, this is a, a very solid business. Um, we indicated at the bottom of the slide here that we've got a bank of possibilities in excess of three million pounds. So um, a, a good, strong business. So the IHT division um, improved harness technology. This is the growth story, uh, the, the growth story of, of the business. So as I've said, this is the manufacture of multi-layer flexible printed circuits of, of unlimited length. So length unlimited is the real key manufacturing innovation that we've implemented here at Trackwise. And, and these are being offered as a, as a replacement for, for conventional wire harness. So instead, instead of a bundle of wires, we're using printed circuit board to, to printed circuit boards, flexible printed circuit boards to that. We call it improved harness technology because the te technology offers a wide range of improvements over the, over the incumbent technology. Um, Notably, weight and space, um, weight reduction up to 75%. Uh, 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 75%, as I show here on the slide, um, but but also but also um, um, other proven benefits. And it's important to know that these are proven benefits. This is not a new technology. A flexible printed circuit has been um, was developed in the mid middle of the last century, as, as specifically as a replacement conventional wire harness. And as a result of these proven benefits, it's now a, a multi-billion dollar worldwide industry. Um, all that Trackwise's innovation done, has done is, is, removed in, is removed any size limit. And that manufacturing innovation, that process patent, we've granted on a, we, we, we're in the process of getting it granted on a worldwide basis. You can see it at the bottom of the slide. It's granted in the UK, EU, US, China, and Canada, and the only pending application 
it is the one is the one in Brazil. So I'll now go on to to describe the um, the, the, the the three principal markets which we're um, which we're operating with um, in, with this technology. So medical catheters. So um, the the, uh, the the the, the uh, First slide of this uh, of this circuit uh, of this presentation shows the roughly two millimeter wide two millimeter wide circuits with the very very tiny 50 micron wide tracks on the circuits and the, these um, these wires are replacing these these tracks are replacing what we call micro wires inside a flexible print inside the inside a catheter so eight of these um, eight of these circuits go inside a in, inside a catheter, so we're replacing 64, 64 microwires inside a um, inside a catheter. So I think, as you can imagine, using very very tiny tiny um, wires to 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 wire up a, an electronic device at the tip of a two meter long catheter would be a, a, a very um, a very um, a very difficult manufacturing operation, and therefore the um, the improvements. The improved improvements offered by improved harness technology is really is the is the is a manufacturing improvement, the ease of manufacturing for the customer. Um, and so here we're working with two um, with with three um, three principal um, three principal customers, <clears throat> two which are very <clears throat> excuse me, two which are very large U.S. Um, medical device manufacturers. Um, the, the, the lead one of those, um, we, we have um, supplied samples to them. They've been built into catheters and um, have demonstrated to be to be working fine. So we, we anticipate through um, discussions with the customer to receive further further orders going into next year and and um, moving into moving into production in, in 2022. So um, this is a very large um, very large market sector. Just the U.S. catheter market alone is worth about two billion dollars annually, forecasted to, to, to double by the end of the end of the decade. Now, not all of those catheters are um, are electronically enabled, but a, a, a large percentage are. Um, these are very large opportunities. So, aerospace is where the journey for IHT began, as a result of an, an approach by Rolls Royce um, Rolls Royce Aero Engines. Um, as, as we've said, the, um, as I've said, the, one of the principal improvements offered by IHT of the conventional wire harness is the, is the, is the weight saving. So in, in any mobile application, weight is fuel, is cost, is carbon. And, um, and uh, <clears throat> the UK aviation industry, like all others, is, is aiming to reduce its carbon impact. So, the UK avi avi aviation industry has pledged to, um, to, 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 to cut its carbon emissions to, to net zero by 2050. So the, um, the image on the, on the top of this slide, top right of this slide, is, a, is an Airbus concept, a concept a aircraft, and we're working with Airbus and other OEMs on these, on these future applications, on, on these future projects. However, um, last year in 2019, we also um, signed an industrialization agreement with GKN Aerospace on their, specifically on the wing ice protection. Um, GKN are the um, incumbent supplier on a large um, US, um, US aerospace platform for their ice protection. Um, Trackwise has been working with many years with GKN on the development of their next generation pro pro product. And, and this industrialization phase is the, is the final step prior to entry into service. And again, through um, discussions with the customer, customer, the, 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 um, we anticipate this um, two to three years from production. So, um, whilst COVID has obviously hit current um, programs and um, programs and supplies, you know, with a major impact on the aviation industry, R and D on the future future platforms in support of this, um, in support of. Um, um, the carbon reduction aircraft are, 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 are firmly underway, and, and we indicate here we're working with with more than 30 aerospace OEMs and suppliers in a, in a wide range of different applications. So the image on the bottom right is some, uh, a demonstrator with um, with Gulfstream who we're working working with. Um, so this is um, a light weighting of their interiors uh, interiors. So before I um, come on to uh, electric vehicles and and uh, the, the recent contract win that has um, 
that has um, you know, really driven the growth of uh, Trapwise. I just want to talk about some other markets. Um, since we've been on um, since we've been on AIM, um, we we have had a, a large contract with CERN for the uh, the for an upgrade of the Large Hadron Collider that has been successfully completed. However, we're going on to work with a a, a nuclear fusion uh, nuclear fusion manufacturer. So whilst this is relatively early days with them, um, the the, um, um, the um, as the as the company um, goes on and scales up their reactor towards um, entry into service at the tail end of this decade, there's there's going to be um, a potentially very large um, very large um, contract values coming up, and 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 the trackwise the trackwise um, you know the trackwise very long circuits are an absolutely key part of the uh, of the OEM's um, OEM's capability. Another interesting one is um, oil pipeline leak detection. We're, we're, we're working with a with a Canadian OEM. So this is um, um, roughly 30 meter long sections, assembled sections, um, going underneath an oil pipeline to act as a um, as a as, a, as a, a hydrocarbon leak detection. So a very key um, a key um, asset for um, for, the, for the oil industry. Um, a fairly, another fairly, fairly recent but very very exciting um, opportunity is. Um, 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 my electric my, micro micro motor windings. So instead of using um, instead of using copper wire wound round an electric motor to um, to to form the to, to form the motor windings, using flexible printed circuit boards. And and these will um, the, these offer some some significant advantages to the uh, to to the motor. They make they can make them very um, very um, very much more dense, compact. Um, more efficient and, and most importantly be very quick to manufacture. So this is again very early early days but um, we have a, a very interesting technology for the OEM and um, as we indicate here we're, we're anticipating a, a, a very sizable market market opportunity from that. Um, electric vehicles, so like, um, like um, aerospace automotive is going through fundamental change the move from in, move from internal combustion to to electric, um, and and again like um, like aerospace, the, uh, the 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 key weight saving that the weight saving benefit of IHT replacing wire harness is um, is absolutely key. Um, however, there's a, there's an, an an added added benefit that um, the the indication here or the the image here on this slide is for. Is the many hundreds of individual, um, individual typically cylindrical cells that are formed together to um, connected together to form battery modules, connected together to form battery packs, are an abs absolutely ideal use case for flex PCBs. So a very high, very high quantity of of um, interconnection points at very repeatable um, repeatable locations. So. Not only the um, the weight and space saving, but also the manufacturing benefit is a is a key is a, is a key use case. And um, I will go on to um, go on to describe the um, the electric vehicle contract win that um, that Trackwise announced in um, September. But um, the wider opportunity. So um, I'm sure you'll be aware of um, plans to build one or one or more gigafactories in the UK. And these gigafactories are going to be building. Typically, cylindrical, sometimes prismatic cells, and these UK cells are going to be built into UK battery modules, into UK battery packs, in turn into UK electric vehicles. So the wider opportunity is the trackwise with its um, with its um, key technology and first mover and advantage to to um, to get in front of or you know, get in between the efforts of those gigafactories and into the UK electric vehicle build. Um, however, the, the, the immediate, um, the immediate um, task at hand is that we um, that we signed in um, we signed in um, September a three-year manufacturing agreement with a, a UK EV OEM um, worth up to uh, worth up to, to 38 million. So um, this these are um, this is a, a, a very important and transformational contract for for, for Trackwise. Um, the 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 the, um, the, the, uh, the statement is it's worth up to 38 million because um, there are the, the contract terms are that the, the, there are payments to trackwise material payments to trackwise in the event of um, lower volumes and obviously uh, uh, as you probably would expect uh, an annual process of, um, of of price review 
However, Trapwise is making, uh, is, is making two key components that go into every battery module and also an element that go into battery packs. So this is a, um, you know, a, 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 transformational, um, a transformational opportunity for the business. It's a very exciting, um, a very exciting um, OEM at a very exciting time for the, uh, for the, for the, for the automotive industry. Now, as we say here <clears throat> at, the, at the bottom of this slide, um, the 2021 sales forecast is, 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 um, is as a result of the, the, the ramp up of production for the OEM going to peak in, in quarter four, stretching our IHT production capacity by the end of next year. And, and for this reason, we have come to market um, this month to, to raise, raise additional finance. So um, with the placing and the open offer, both of which I'm very glad to, 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 to say we're, we're oversubscribed. And again, thank you for your, thank you for your uh, contribution. Um, and Trackwise is intending to, um, is, is planning to, to, to scale up our, our, our production facility, our production capacity in a new facility to be online by quarter four next year in, in line with the demand that I've, I've just identified. So one of the reasons that we want to put it in a new facility is not only that the, um, not only that the demand is, is, is in excess of um, the capability here in, um, in Tewkesbury, but as I've indicated, we are we are working on a very wide, a very wide ranging pipeline of very exciting opportunities. Um, this is our first production contract, but we certainly don't anticipate that it's going to be our last. And it's important that we continue to um, com continue to deliver that pipeline as we again scale up and deliver to the um, to the um, to, to this electric vehicle contract. Um, we, we, have, we have identified a leasehold, leasehold premises um, and subject to contract will be uh, taking possession of that next year, installing equipment um, and, as I say, being full, fully operational by um, quarter four 2021. So, in, in summary, um, Trackwise's vision through, through IHT is to be the preeminent interconnect partner to the world's leading innovators. We, we believe we're um, we're, um, you know, we're, we're quite well down the, down, the, down the line with that. And we've got the first large contract win with an electric vehicle OEM worth up to, to, to 38, 38 million pounds going through 2023. Um, it's, it, I think for all of us, um, 2020 will go down as a tough year. However, with, the, um, with our raise in April and our acquisition of Stephen in circuits in March, our, um, our signing of the uh, uh, signing of the contract in in September and our recent fundraise, I think 2020 will also go down as a very successful strategic um, strategic advance for Trackwise. Um, Stephen New Circuits is a very good business. Um, Mark bought it very well at a, at a good price, and and that that is that that is offered that is provided a you know not only a very good cash contribution to the business but also a strengthening of our um, a strengthening of our, our capability and capacity as i have possibly hurriedly um, indicated to you we've got a very strong pipeline of um, of IHT revenue op op revenue opportunities and um, we, we we would like to think that we're we're confident in our progress across these um, across these three primary target markets but obviously the uh, the electric vehicle uh, the electric vehicle contract is the is the first one. So, thank you. Um, I indicate here the um, the board of directors, myself, um, Philip Johnston. I remain the largest shareholder even after this um, raise. Um, my um, my colleague Mark Hodgkins, the CFO, who's with me today, and then um, an experienced and and and, um, and um, yeah, the experienced um, and non-executive team in, in in support of the executives. So thank you. I would um, like to try and answer any questions that you may have. First question. I was going to interrogate you now. Um, I'm very interested in investing in Trackwise, but I've been nervous about the effects of a no deal Brexit. The previous reports don't have much planning in relation to this and say the effects will be unknown. What is the anticipated impact on earnings? What WTO tariffs will be applicable to your business in Europe? So we I think that's a, a, a good question. We we um, we have um, we have um, anticipated the short-term impacts of um, of Brexit and, and uh, on in terms of raw material availability. So we have made sure that we have got um, at least um, at least uh, you know what we think that we need for the short-term short-term demands. 
um, the WTO tariffs are not very significant. I think 5.4% is the is the highest on our on our rule. It covers a, a number of different categories. So um, it it um, we uh, you know I think we're obviously all on tenterhooks to find out what um, Brexit is going to be. Um, but we think we've done um, we we have done what we can in in terms of um, in terms of um, in, 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 uh, planning for it. And we don't believe that even if we trade on WTO WTO terms that the the um, that's going to have a, a significant impact on, on on margin. Now I think particularly on the IHT side. Um, where we where we're where we're offering a, a, a unique capability, we think our um, you know our competitive advantage should not be eroded by um, by Brexit. Okay, I've had a couple of questions about competition. One just kind of the general overall uh, kind of competition landscape, competitive landscape. Sorry, and also specifically about Andus in relation to a note that Edison uh, published. Uh, how far behind trackwise are Andus? Um, so I think the general the general question um, sort of the general point about competition is that we would consider that <clears throat> we would consider that the incumbent technology is the biggest competitor. So really, no chain. So sticking with conventional wire wire harness instead of uh, instead of chain. So in the in the printed circuit board sector, um, and I wouldn't necessarily say that Anders are 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 worth um you know i mean I, they, they have an interesting capability but um i know for example we've taken some work off andus um i wouldn't particularly single single out andus as being uh being a, a, an exceptional capable exceptional capability um we um we we clearly do monitor our do monitor our competitors on a worldwide basis and and um um I would say that the you know the patent you know the patent uh, the patent is a key uh, is a key aspect, um, but but also the the know how that we have accumulated over the years over the uh, accumulated over the years in in investing in 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 our in our IHT um, technology and know how. Okay, um, can you confirm the recent fundraising will meet current future development plans in totality? I can confirm that. Um, and then further to that, did management participate in the recent placing? Um, three of the five directors participated. I I didn't. I and I, as I think I've said, I remained the the, the, the largest shareholder. Um, but but um, three. Um, one of them, you know, Mark, my um, CFO, and two of the uh, two of the um, non non execs did. So yes. So we are all shareholders in the business. Um, question about the medical uh, catheter application: um, Is the intention, uh, sorry, the intended use, uh, is it disposable or a, a reusable uh, device? So, for the, I believe, I believe it is a, it is a single-use device, so single use for a single operation. That is correct. Yeah. Um, and had a comment about again the the the, the recent raise. Um, any reason you didn't use primary bid? Um, as, as a few people have mentioned, that they like to invest via that. Yeah. So I, I, it, it is our, it is our stated, our stated philosophy to, to well, our stated, uh, um, you know, purpose to try and look after our, look after our, our, um, our, our, our private shareholders. So I think through, through. Um, through platforms like um, Investor Meets Company, like events like this, we we are trying to make ourselves accessible to the um, accessible to 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 the to the small shareholders. But in in with regard to the specific question, is that rather than primary bid, which is open up to 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 everybody in the market, we really wanted to um, you know we structured the open offer to give our to give our existing private shareholders the you know the maximum well the same opportunity, the same price as the uh, as the institutional shareholders, so we felt it was, yeah, it is really in our in our in our in our strategy to look after our existing shareholders, our existing small shareholders. Okay, Philip. On that note, we are on time. So thank you very much indeed for presenting and joining us this evening, and giving us that update.